So now let's take a look at the uh, actual thermostat and see what's going on uh, with it. So what we have here, we have a thermostat that uh, we are going to take apart. Here's what it looks like on the back side of it. So we have our terminals R, W, Y, and G as we uh, looked at it in, the, uh, in our earlier section of this video. Uh, red wire goes to R, uh, white wire goes to W, uh, blue wire goes to Y, and green wire goes to G. Now, this is, uh, in most cases, this is the color you're going to find, but not 100% of the time. So you have to make sure when you're changing out a thermostat, make a note of what color went to which terminal, and uh, when you make the change, uh, then uh, make sure you're doing it right. Uh, also, the other thing to note on this thermostat, it has a switch on the back side of it that is for gas or electric. If we flip it to this side, it's for electric. And, it, and this is basically for the heat uh, portion of the thermostat. And has to do with the timing of the blower motor for the inside unit. Uh, with the gas, um, it will purge the gas. And uh, uh, again, it, it all has to do with the timing of it. This particular thermostat uses uh, batteries. There are thermostat out, thermostats out there that they use a 24 volts from the system instead of a battery. So this is a very basic thermostat, non-programmable, manufactured by Honeywell. So let's take a look at what I was discussing in the uh, earlier section of this video regarding the switches. So we have our uh, switches basically wired. So our red wire goes to one side of the switch. And then this particular switch here, our blue wire goes to the other side of it. So as I mentioned, the thermostat, all of this is just a handful of switches. So in this particular case, if I turn on the uh, this switch here, it connects our red wire and the blue wire together. And I've got it uh, taken over here to give you a visual indicator, which is this blue LED. So if I turn on the, this switch here, that's connected to my green wire and the red wire. So basically I'm shorting the green wire and red wire together. And last but not least, uh, when I flip this switch, is, this switch on, that's my white, which is for my heat. I've um, shown that with my red LED. It basically takes our red wire and white wire and shorts it together. These are all low voltage, uh, it's 24 volts. And uh, to see if my wiring um, is good, and um, also the particular functions of the AC are uh, working correctly. I can take a jumper wire and uh, take my red wire and connect it to the uh, white that will call for heat, which would be our red LED. So you can see here by shorting those two together, my heating element inside of, again, this is making an assumption that we're working with a, uh, electric heat, the heating element inside of my uh, uh, unit should come on. Uh, also, if I take it uh, and uh, short the red wire to the blue, my blue LED comes on, which indicates that our outside unit should be running right now, right? So if the wiring is all in good shape and the outside unit, the contactor uh, uh, makes, then I should see the fan running out there, uh, assuming the fan is in good shape, uh, also the capacitor for the fan is in good shape. We have a compressor out there, that compressor should be running. So these are all a uh, very good way of figuring out, do I have any wiring problems or not? Um, and then last but not least, uh, by shorting the red to my green, my green LED comes on, which indicates our blower motor inside of our condition space should be running right now. Again, this assumes that the blower itself is in good uh, working condition, the motor is in good uh, condition, the capacitor is in good condition, but uh, if those things are in good shape and we're doing this and we have 24 volts in our system and we don't get anything going on inside, then uh, we got a wiring issue. So now let's take a look at our uh, thermostat and see how it actually uh, functions. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the thermostat into um, uh, 
our switch for the cool and heat to off. We're gonna turn on our fan. So here we go, we'll turn on our fan and we can see our uh, green LED comes on and green LED basically tells us that our blower motor inside of our inside unit should be running right now. And uh, let's put the fan onto auto, meaning that the cool and heat will take over the fan now and it will get turned on uh, once one of those functions are called. So let's go ahead and do a cool call. Right now it says our temperature for the condition space is 71, right? So with that set being 71, um, we're gonna go ahead and lower our desired temperature for our condition space to, let's say 70, we want it to be 70. So once we set that to 70, what you should see is, we should see that the thermostat now is calling for cool. This was the same thing that happened here, right? Same thing that happened here, which is we're calling for cool, which the thermostat turned on the switch for cool, which turns on the outside unit, and turned on the switch for fan, which turns on the blower for our inside unit. That circulates the air inside of our conditioned space and uh, runs that air across a coil, which will extract the heat from that air, sends it to the outside, and we push that warm air, the heat, out of our desired, uh, or, or out of our conditioned space. And let's, let's now uh, work the other side of it. Let's say we've, we've met our desired temperature. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna say, you know, I changed my mind. I like for the temperature for this room to be 73 and the temperature is at 72, so now we don't need to cool down anymore. We're cool enough, therefore the thermostat, it turned off the outside unit and the inside uh, uh, blower. Let's say now we're in winter time and we want some heat pumped into our conditioned space. Our conditioned space right now, it's at 72 degrees, so we want that to be warmer. Let's say we want it to be at 73 degrees. So the thermostat uh, now says, okay, well, based on your desired temperature for the condition space, now what's gonna happen is, since we're at 72, we're gonna turn on our heating element, our heating element and our blower to circulate that air, run it across this, this is electric heat, run it across the heating element to pick up some heat and then send that air into the conditioned space until that temperature for the conditioned space matches our desired temperature. Again, this is not hooked up to anything, so this is gonna sit here until uh, the thermostat is satisfied. So the way we're gonna satisfy the thermostat, we're gonna say we changed our mind. We like for the temperature for our conditioned space to be 71. Based on that, it says, okay, well, your condition space is at 72, you want it to be at 71, and we're in heat mode, therefore I'm not gonna pump any more heat into the condition space. It turns both of those uh, um, relays, switches off. That was our heat and that was our uh, fan, so those are turned off. Again, I hope uh, this information helps you better understand how a thermostat works and give you um, some uh, ability now to troubleshoot a system. And uh, if you like what you see, um, click like. And uh, if you like what you see out of the channel, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.